Hi guys. Poundland Power Pod. Big Clive did a video on these just the other day. So I went in and bought one for myself. They're supposed to be two pounds in Poundland. But when I put it through the machine, 650 milliamp hour disposable iOS charger, one pound. So I thought, winner. So this only cost me a pound, not two pounds. And of course, what Big Clive does is takes it apart and pinches the battery out from inside. I'll put a link to his video in my video description so you can see the proper way to do what you do. Because he demonstrated, oh, let's just get that all the way out. sticky on the back there. Yeah, he, he actually uh, tells you what all the circuitry does on here. Like the fact that that chip there um, controls the voltage and the charging or discharging I suppose you'd call it here. Uh, the battery goes through there and comes out to plug into your phone. But he showed you that you could actually use the same chip to charge the battery. Well, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is use one of these little boards that I happened to have bought on eBay a long time ago. Which, if I remember rightly, have um, battery protection circuitry on them at this end. There's three here, there was five. So if I just clip this one off, so we can just use one of them, I should be able to connect the leads from that to the battery in, in the middle, and connect a JST lead to the battery out, and then use that so I can charge it and use it to power something. So I'll just clip this one out, so we've just got one of them. Right, there's our one little board. So, battery negative, into there, battery positive, into there. Encouragement. Okay, so that one should go come on. There. So that should be all we need to do. So we can stick a charger in there, 
USB, uh, is it mini or micro, into there. And this we should be able to plug into something and make it work. So I just happen to have laying around that 27 megahertz transmitter module. That in there, and a 27 megahertz toy car. Uh, oh, might help to turn it on, I suppose. Oh, yes. Okay. So that's powering it nicely. Uh, steering. Yeah, you might be able to hear another noise in the background. Because I've also got uh, this rather sorry looking radio controlled car. That's in one that I've already scavenged all the bits out of. Uh, so, forwards and backwards. Oh. Turn that one off or it'll run off the table. So, yeah, forwards, backwards, and okay, left, right. So, that would probably fit into a nice little um, controller handset, little plastic box, that's what it's designed for. Alternatively, like that. Big Clive did say don't expect these to give you much power. Uh, it does say 650 milliamp powers, but um, the current rating uh, it doesn't give that on there, I don't think. I think the 523450 is the dimensions of the battery. Anyway, let's just plug the battery into the car instead. Okay, so that's running the car. And then I'll use my little battery pack there to run the controller. So. sound very happy that steering motor does it? There's a bit of oil on it or something. But there we are. So that's our little LiPo battery out of the power pod. Uh, but I ought to just plug a lead into that to show you whether it charges or not. Right, so switch that off so we're not actually Trying to power the receiver board and plug this one into here. Get it the right way up. Okay, red indicates it's charging. Uh, we'll come back in a little while and see if that changes to blue. There we are, blue, so it's charged. So we should be able to disconnect that, switch that on, and away we go. Did we switch that on? Yes, we did switch that on. High pitched wine's probably upsetting lots of young people. I wonder 
if that's used enough to actually be able to charge it again a little bit. I doubt it, but we'll see. Oh yeah, back to red. So, it would appear to work. If I can find my original video where I bought these, I'll put a link in the video description. But just search on eBay, you should be able to find them. And say these are the ones that have got the battery protection surrogate built in. So job done. Thanks to Big Clive. For simplicity, I'm just going to put some double-sided tape on the back of there and stick it straight on the battery. So there we go. Probably be a good idea to put some heat shrink around it or whatever that uh, yellow tape is. I can't remember what they call it. I like that. You can change the um, current output by changing one of the resistors on there, one of the onboard resistors. I can't remember which one it is, it does tell you on the eBay listing. But it's, yeah, it's one of them, it's probably that R3 on that side, that's probably the easiest to get to. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.